Welcome to another video presentation of Map Business Online. Today we're going to talk about Map Business Online's integration with ACT. So this ACT interface is familiar to you ACT users out there who use ACT for your CRM, your Contact Relationship Management System. You can launch Map Business Online uh, as a subscriber right from that little additional button there where you see that little Map tab, tack, and you can click that and launch it. I've already done that here. And the first thing we're going to do is we're going to click the list view to get all my contacts and then I am going to map all contacts. All those contacts are going to come in and be placed on the map here in Map Business Online directly from ACT. So there they are in red. I'm not going to color code right now. I can go in and change symbols if I want to. I can make them smaller if I want to and then close the data window view. So now we've mapped our contacts here and as you'll note you can see you know a little bit about each contact and if I click one there's a little toolbar that comes up down below it and right on the left we've got this button that says show details in act so when I click that button it brings up my act view of that particular contact which is really cool so now we've got the ability to go back and forth between the application and act just by clicking on any particular uh, show details button on those point toolbars within Map Business Online. Uh, you'll also be able to take a subset of your data. So if you created a little radius search or a polygon search and searched those contacts and created a subset data set, uh, you could then export that back out into ACT campaigns here. So you could then export data to ACT and add this to a group or export to a, a contact lookup um, or update your contact list. So it's up to you how you want to do it. It'll go back into ACT and you'll be able to use it um, in ACT as a campaign management tool, which is really nice. Now, if we go back to the ACT view, another thing that you can do in here, uh, if we go to the list view again, and let's say we wanted to select um, you know, just a group of contacts, and then we could map just the selected. And it would do the same thing. It would upload those back out into Map Business Online and put them on the map. So you've got those yellow spots now on the map. We can even make them more prevalent by, I won't symbolize there, I'll symbolize here. Uh, I'll put black triangles on there. So there they are. So you're able to migrate those out uh, in sort of a, uh, a subset way not the whole list just part of the list and we could also go back and we could select another group let's um, let's select just a, a small group and we can route so we can route to those selected so we can create a new route I could use my home office location as a start so let's say that's 19 Norwood Avenue Lockport mass and we'll just add stops to the route and we're going to go yes and now we've got turn by turn directions your route is described on the map um, and you could choose to optimize routes um, stop so get the best most efficient way to travel from point to point across that and do a round trip if you want to and then click that button for the final route and this is going to give you uh, your turn-by-turn -turn directions and your actual stop list uh, for that particular route. I can close uh, these labels that I've opened up and you'll notice in the background we've got a state territory uh, map going on as well here. We can talk about that in just a second. So there's your route and your turn-by-turn -turn directions are here which are printable or you could save that to a PDF view to share it with people. Um, and you'll see again I've got um, a territory map view in the background so that's one of the things that Map Business Online is great for is building um, territories out of your states counties or zip codes and in this case I've built them out of states I'm gonna just turn off my contacts I can actually go up here and delete the route and now we'll just be looking at the territory view. And let's go back out to sort of a 
a full view of the US and I've left the overlap button uh, on so I've been able to designate overlap and if I want to it's it's actually highlighted in red here I've got an overlapping territory between my mid-south and my southern territory here my southeast territory so I can select that Tennessee red and I can remove it from well, let's we'll move it from mid-south I think that makes the most sense so now my territory has been uh, adjusted Tennessee is now part of the mid-south the uh, is now part of the southeast territory which I can export out and I can also add demographic data to these territories if I want to just so you can see that is population we'll bring that over set the data columns I can total it down below for sort of a optimization view optimization view so 68,000 people in that 68 million people in that territory and another thing that you can do with Map Business Online that I think is important is we'll just turn the state layer off, let's turn the county layer on, and we've got demographic data here. So um, you can now see, and if we turn on our legend, which is here, show map legend, you can see that we've got demographic data from the census reflected by county, and that's included in the product. You can work with that data, you can export that data, that's all part of the Map Business Online and for ACT Premium subscription. Um, I think that covers most of the major features for Map Business Online for ACT Premium. Go to mapbusinessonline.com or go to ACT and take our free trial and purchase Map Business Online for ACT. Thank you very much for taking the time today and we look forward to helping you.